people ask how do you get a clutch clean what are the shortcomings of these I'll explain the dirty one they can be nasty this is aluminum oxide if you can see the white that pitting is down inside where these these are and what they'll do is they'll swell up with aluminum oxide and press and pinch and then they don't move right they have to move in the slider but if it's pinched that can be a problem the other location is in here if that gets oxidized let's say it sits in one spot it might be clean on the bottom but oxidized on top same with your pins your uh, your rollers can rot and lose all your bushing but in this bushing they can get oxidization from the sides and in the washers and these need to be cleaned and shined up smooth rolling ramps next place is that rust on the top edge that top edge will stop it and make it stick see and it doesn't want to fall down so I go in with a long cleaner the long cleaner can go in here you see that oxidization and you want to get as much of that out as possible you can use smaller this is a fingernail file there's narrower ones there's tougher ones there's more flexible and this is just a rough clean but that when you do a rough clean it shows you the marring it shows you the imperfections it shows you the belt wear it shows you where belt might have blown and a chunk of something hits and ruins your surface one more time put on a cover and it should go up and down very easily don't put it together if it sticks like this this needs more cleaning that should be a smooth easy flow like this old bugger now this one's smooth and easy because it's wore out not done but it has more wear this is low miles